Okay, the first thing I'm going to tell you is I'm going to show you if I look at a report and I look at the impressions area, exactly how quickly I can make these determinations about this patient's condition. I'm going to do it very quickly and then I'm going to break down each component part down below. So take a look. Okay, when I look at the front of a spinal kinetics report, I can look right here and I can say, okay, I have, se I have a severe cranial cervical junction condition. I have a grade three sprain finding, grade four Croft treatment guidelines qualifier. I have a AMA fifth edition impairment. I have an AMA sixth edition impairment. I have a patient that has a pre-authorization for spinal fusion surgical finding. In other words, the, the, the injury is that severe. If I cannot stabilize this, about 30% of your patients may have this condition. And you should know it so that you can communicate it to the world. Um, if I can't stabilize that condition, the patient's going up the ascension ladder of care. And I'm showing, I, I'm providing the documentation in the background of just how severe this injury really is. I also have, uh, if I have an athletic uh, athlete, then I have some athletic return to play parameters that I need to contend with. And I also have great rationale for why I'm going to send out for my MRI. I can tell all of that within 10 seconds of looking at this report, and I'm going to show you how you can do the same. Oh, the last thing that I um, wanted to show you is we are the only service in the country that actually puts the DPI in the study. So we're telling you exactly what the DPI is and exactly what the focal film distance is that's shooting this. Now, without those p two pieces of data, our system calibrates exactly to this and this. And if it's not spoken or known in the report, it's impossible to tell if the report is accurate. You can't use JPEGs for this stuff, doctors. You can't use these simple softwares. You have to have... Uh, sophistication in what you're using, especially today's uh, digital world. Anyway, I just wanted to point that last piece out.